everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Rocio with Sparkling Punk. I am the owner of Sparkling Punk, which is a Halloween year-round small business. Um, today, we're going to be talking about how I organize my schedule. Like when I have markets, uh, just overall business, social media, my life, um, just my organization because people on Instagram have pointed out multiple times how organized I am and I am extremely organized so and when people come to my house they realize how organized my house is um I'm honestly like an organization neat freak um I'm pretty sure I got a bit of OCD that runs in the family because my mom used to be like that um ever since she had like the younger kids she's kind of let that go a little bit but she used to be like very ocd about everything um and i've honestly been like that ever since i was a little little kid there was times when like it was like three in the morning on a weekend and i would be frantically cleaning my closet and organizing it and my mom would be like what are you doing you know and i was like i'm organizing my closet like I, I want it to be clean. I was like in middle school or something like that. And that continued on until like I moved out. I still randomly do that where like I will randomly do closet clear outs, closet reorganization. I just love organization. And um, I that's how I organize my life. I'm a planner, 100% a planner. So this is pretty much going to be showing you how I organize my business life, my personal life, um, as well as my social media life. So it's a little bit of everything. I use this program called Asana. It is a free program up to an extent online. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you how we use that. Excuse the towel, as many might not know, I work full time on top of running my business full time. So I'm recording this after work. I popped in the shower and my hair is still drying. So apologies with the towel. It does look like a very beautiful head wrap though. Just wanted to point it out in case anybody was like, is that a towel or a head wrap? It's a towel. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you kind of plan things out if you are a planner or are wanting to become a planner this year, whether you're a business owner or a social media content creator um, or just trying to organize your overall life. Um, yeah, I want you guys to be able to see a way that you can organize that. So let's go ahead and move on to Asana. Right now it is kind of a mess. I will give you a little, um, uh, what is it called? I will give you a warning before we get in there because it is kind of all over the place. We're going to be planning mainly for January. It's almost mid-January, but I need to get back on track with, you know, planning again. It's just, you know, holidays and then the new year and I just haven't really been planning. So I've been taking more of a time to decompress and relax. So planning time. All right, let's move on to Asana, y'all. All right, everyone. I decided to put my hair down because the camera was wigging out with this green screen background thing. But we are in Asana. This is what Asana looks like. Um, like I said, it is 100% free. There is an upgraded version that has like more things that you can use and stuff. But honestly, I feel that I can overall get through my day and month and weeks with just the free version. Um, you could create tasks that are going to be due soon. Um, you could also create like projects, which I pretty much make them into like buckets of different categories. Never make them full blown projects. Um, I have a bunch, but there is a quite a few things that I might want to rearrange in here. You also have like a goal setting area, which I am going to start using that goal setting area. There's my inbox, but honestly, the inbox doesn't really matter um, unless you have like a team that you're working with, because this is a very team type of program. So you can pretty much get all of your teammates on here. So for example, myself's on there. But I could get like, let's say I hired someone, right, which I personally would never do because I'm a solo type of person. I work better by myself when it comes to my art. Um, but like if I were to ever bring someone else in, I could just always add their account in here and assign them projects as, you know, I go. So my tasks, you can pretty much see the full calendar or you have options between seeing like a list or seeing a board 
you'd also see like files you know if you put any files in there you could put images or um things like that that you're like you might want to post so that can all go in there i don't know if asana has like a file limit um or how many you could put in there there probably is and that's probably why they have an upgraded version so just throwing that out there i've never used the file thing because i'm always on my computer area here so all my files tend to be on my computer or on my cell phone so this is my calendar for january for right now but like in the past for example um i have used it quite a bit so i did not start color coding anything until december december is when i said you know what i'm going to start color coding everything so i have more of an idea because as you can see before it was just everything was the same color i didn't know what was what and um i kind of just had to go down my list but i originally was a really big and i still am i like to make lists by hand on like a piece of paper but i am still a heavy user of both like i like using on the computer i like using my cell phone and i like using um like a paper and pen so i will normally use all three of them like when i'm at a uh prepping for a convention i tend to write everything down in my notebook and then i finalize it and put everything into the computer to make sure i check it off sometimes i have like a list of my notebook stuff and then um sometimes i like have to physically mark things off so like it depends how i'm feeling but this helps me keep myself more organized um and like i said color coordinating definitely helped so i do have like some things i have to plan like for example here here was a post that i had to go ahead and post i had a review in a contract which this was actually yesterday so i went ahead and i reviewed that contract and submitted it yesterday i do need to resave all of my images for a web on my website you know i need to check all my product descriptions because my website does this thing sometimes where if you like toggle this button and i accidentally toggled it and might delete some of your product descriptions which kind of sucks so it deleted a lot of my product descriptions i have to go back in there and edit everything remeasure all of my products and do all that so it's kind of stressful but I have to go do that um I don't know if I'll have time to do it today I might do it tomorrow I do have a market that's coming up on the 16th so um we have a lot of like prepping stuff to do here this week so I'm going to be adding that as well and then um you have like the option to have like a portfolio which is that's like I said there's like all the upgraded stuff, reporting also upgraded, um, inbox, like I said, it's for mainly for people and then uh, goals. So there, that explains why I haven't used the goal thing because it's an upgraded thing. But um, it's a really cool program. I know there's like a bunch of other programs. I know some people use Notion also, but Asana has been a really good one for me to use and these are all my little buckets so you can make as many as you want they have a bunch of different colors and stuff so i try to color coordinate all of my little buckets to be different but i think i've used pretty much all of the colors but yeah i'm just gonna kind of let y'all watch me plan my um month for january as best as i possibly could and we'll go from there and i'll probably reorganize a little bit and talk in between uh, to y'all on how I am planning certain things and I will show you a little bit further because in between every little task there is subtasks that you can add as well and due dates and all of that so we will definitely go ahead and go a little bit further into that so let's go ahead and just get started and plan away all right let's do it y'all So as you can see here, I just added charge square reader and pack away. So I'm going to go in here and you've probably been seeing me do this where I do add it to projects and I will search my event prep and I could add subtasks here, but it's pretty much just self-explanatory. So I'm just going to leave it as it is that I need to charge my square reader and then put it away.
So this is more like how I tend to plan out everything I'm going to do. So for example, for the market, I tend to go more in depth on my cell phone and I will put like what time I'm going to wake up, uh, what time I need to make sure I'm out of the house and um, how long it takes to get there, you know, how long it's going to take me to set up. So like I always like to go the earliest to go set up for events um, for as you can see like three days before the event is when I am really prepping any last minute things like on the 13th I'll be doing all like last minute things like any addition of banners that I want to do little QR code anything I wanted to change up my setup on the 14th I make sure that all my stuff is charged up and then I could go ahead and start packing it away and then on the 15th, I always make sure I pack up my car the day before. So on the 16th, when I have to leave early in the morning, everything's already packed up in my car and ready to go. I do um, live in a house, so my car is inside. I don't recommend doing that if your car is living on outside of the garage, um, just because, you know, then you have all the stuff in your car. But if it um, lives in the garage, highly recommend it. There's times where I am packing up my car super, super late. So it's just honestly maybe four or five hours before I have to leave anyway. Um, because I am a night owl. And like I said, there's a lot of rearranging I have to put in here. But for my social media, I do pretty much schedule like when I'm going to be posting a video. So for example, I post a video every... So every um wednesday right so what day is this this is wednesday the 12th so on the 12th i'm gonna have a i don't remember what the name of it is yet but new youtube video and this will be for rocio jimenez cosplay so and then I also post a teaser on my Rocio Jimenez cosplay. So I have my uh, new YouTube video teaser. And this is at 11 a.m. So as you can see, it like kind of helps me figure out like what times and like what to post. I also have little reminders on my phone that tell me like hey you're gonna be posting this at this time don't forget and those will remind me pretty much at the time of so I don't forget at 11 a.m. these are just like estimates on when I plan to post I prefer to post at those times but sometimes things happen right I do work full-time and 11 a.m. is my lunch time, 9 a.m. is my break time. So I try my very, very best to post. But sometimes I'm in a meeting or sometimes I have to finish other things. So yeah. All right, y'all. So it has been a couple days and it took me three days to be able to fully feel like I got this calendar almost fully up to date for January almost um as y'all know as artists and you know small business owners things are constantly changing so some of the stuff might change some of the stuff I might get to do on the day before but I wanted to be able to take some time to fully show you guys how I want my new schedule and calendar to look um, I added a couple more things in there. So, for example, I now have a Patreon. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a pin slash sticker club that I run every month now on Patreon. It is called the Spooky Mail Club. It is in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Currently, it's only for US only. Um, but I hope to extend that out to other countries in the future. But yeah, definitely check it out. So for example, I have my different tiers here. If I go over to my Patreon, so we are at the home. By the way, you can actually change the color of all of these. 
um, little projects that you've made for yourself as well as the images and icons that they have right here i don't change the icons too too much because i feel like i don't have um a huge selection but you can change all of that here and if you go ahead and click on it i have different little buckets within the bucket so i made a design one a print one a cut one a print and cut an order one a pack and a ship so um all of this is like things i have to do for my patreon if we go back to home, let's see, let's go ahead and click on my Sparkling Punk Instagram. I went ahead and I made a post YouTube thumbnail, post YouTube teaser, post reel, post picture, record a reel, record a video, record an IGTV, edit a reel, edit a video, edit an IGTV, take pictures. So I pretty much did like a full blown breakdown. And this breakdown is the same for my other Instagram, which is Rocio Jimenez Cosplay right here. So same thing. And then on these, I actually go ahead and I put the time that I'm going to be posting them in, which I'll show you further on the calendar. Um, but here's the entire list. And I have them in sections. As you can see, post is first because you can rearrange these like this. Um, and then I have my record and my edit. Um, in the order that I would kind of do, you know, the record and edit are in that order. The post is like, I feel like top priority. It's the thing I do the most, so it's going to be at the top. All right, so that's how I um, go ahead and organize my buckets for Instagram and Patreon. Now, I have a YouTube one too because I do post weekly YouTube videos. And like I said, my YouTube ones are also going to be the same, so I'll just show you one of them. This is my Rocio Jimenez cosplay one. Um, my posted video, so what is going to be going live that day, as you can see, I put in big bold letter live and then what time it goes live. Um, my scheduled video, meaning I have to go ahead and schedule this video. My thumbnail, so I need to go ahead and design a thumbnail. My edit video, so which videos I have to edit. Um, my little Instagram teaser, I have to go ahead and edit. Recording the intro or the outro. Um, record the overall video. Um, for example, I have to record this video and record the voiceover and just planned the storyboard of the video. All right, so that's all for YouTube. Like I said, my sparkling punk one is the same. And then I also have other buckets for item prep. So my item prep one is split into design, print, attach labels, design, print, and attach labels because that can all happen on the same day. Uh, do markdowns, package, cut, assemble, crochet, knit, draw, loom knit. I feel like I have a lot more I can add on there, but this is just what I've had so far. For my personal life, I went ahead and I did um, vacation. So setting vacation up for yourself is very important. Um, appointments, which could be like doctor, dentist appointments, orthodontist appointments, mental health. So taking time for like my mental health, you know, um, that's also very important. Working out, uh, hanging out with friends, chores slash adulting. So all the stuff that like, I know I have to do, um, but, um, yeah. And then like the very adulty things like filing my taxes um, other events. So for example, it looks like I'm gonna have to cancel my Italy trip. So just making sure that I put the cancellation times in there. Uh, Self-care time. So, you know, scheduling a COVID test because I need to make sure I'm taking care of myself. re my hair because that's definitely my self-care. Uh, getting ready. So like finding to pick out a specific outfit for a certain day. Um, art time. So taking time to sketch. So that's very, very important. Um, learning slash personal growth so like taking skillshare classes um let's see sketch time this is gonna be under my art time so i'm gonna go ahead and move it up as you can see i could just easily slide so moving up my little sketch time with my art time here which is the super cool part you can just like grab it here on the list if you want to go ahead and just go into the list itself and do it And then they are rearranged by like date on here, which is weird. So I just went ahead and I, I rearranged them by date. 
So this is my personal. Um, you could add more. See, there's like section right here and you could add your tasks just from right here and change the dates from here. So let's see what else. Planner updates. So whenever I'm going to do an update on the planner, there's no buckets down here. It's just, you know, making sure that I have that scheduled in there when I'm going to be updating my planner. Sewing. So when I'm going to be sewing my skirts, my halter tops, my shorts, my face masks, that's flash covers, my earrings, my braids, um, my scrunchies, aprons, ornaments, stockings. So these are like holiday ones, but I still wanted to put them on there. Totes, plushies, cat toys, things like that. Events. So actually, let's go to event prep first. My event prep, I broke it down between setup, packing, print, purchase, booth mock-up, charge, so like, you know, charging my, my motion lights, charging my square readers, um, booth mock-up, drawing up my booth mock-up, maybe even testing out my booth mock-up. Having all of that scheduled in there is like super, super important, so you just make sure that you keep yourself in check at all times. And then I also have my cosplay stuff and then like my other event. So my event one is when are my conventions scheduled? Do I have any markets scheduled? Do I have any collections that are going to drop? Do I have a shop update? Um, do I have a holiday that I just want to make sure that is on my calendar? Like for example, Halloween's coming up. So things like that. Just making sure that those are scheduled in there and I'm aware that they are coming up. And product listings for my website. So do I have to take product photography? Do I have to edit photos? Um, create product listings um, in Square app categories. So do I need to add any, you know, categories? Is everything up to date in those categories? Um, product descriptions. Do I need to go ahead and edit a product description? Add a product description. Um, and edit an overall product listing. For example, I'm going to be switching all of my sticker sets to be $5 instead of like a bunch of different prices. And I'm just going to add them all to one listing. So like that is, you know, just different things for my product listings on my website. And aftermath here, do I have to do an inventory recount? unload my car put inventory away do i have to count my cash do i have to deposit my cash to the bank uh put my cash in my square uh away reorganize my display products which could be like my cubes my um little shelves that i use little acrylic shelves for things um buckets edit any listings that might have like sizing in there of a skirt that I might have already sold so I need to remove that skirt if I completely sold that or something that I'm never going to be making again do I have to go in there and edit that out so things like that and like I said these are my cosplay stuff here so this is my personal stuff for my Rosie Feminist cosplay but you know my cosplay transformations am I, I going to be doing that Am I going to be doing a makeup transformation? Am I going to be sewing, painting, EBA foam sculpting, wig styling? There's a lot more I can add in there, but just knowing what I'm going to be doing that day. And then lastly, just cosplay photo shoots. You know, am I going to be shooting with a professional at home, outdoors with friends, things like that. So that is kind of like the category breakdown right here. My calendar is really big. Are you guys ready for this? All right, let's go to the calendar. So, this is not all of it. Let me open them up first. This is January. This is today. It's going to suck. Um, but I'm going to try to get everything done because yesterday I ended up falling asleep. It happens. We're tired. It happens. So, I have to do a lot today. All right. So, I want to go ahead and show you guys... Um, how I do my Instagram posts. So, for example, over here on um, Friday. So, we're going to be posting the Bruno Cosplay Transformation Reel at 11 a.m. This is going to be on Instagram. So, if you click on here, I went ahead and I already did my description for that reel. 
So you might ask why I did it on here. So I don't know if a lot of you guys have this issue, but sometimes Instagram will delete my draft or have an error with my draft. So I don't like to go ahead and schedule it um, if it's not on the same day, like actually like have it as a draft in Instagram on the same day because sometimes it has an issue. So I went ahead and I just did my description here with my hashtags and I could just copy and paste it from the app, the Asana app, or if I'm on my computer posting this reel, or it'll be on my phone. So I'll just copy it and paste it from the Asana app into Instagram. And there's my product description. I mean, there's my reel description. I did the same with my Mavis post that I'm doing that day. So just taking some time to go ahead and make these um, descriptions ahead of time is really important because here's going to be a little Instagram tip for you guys. The longer the description and the more entertaining the description is going to be. Some people actually like to read them. Instagram actually, um, they figure out if your post is interesting if people actually stay long enough to read it. So if you do a longer description and someone is there reading it, they are on your posts for longer, meaning your post is going to be more likely to get boosted up higher. I learned that from a class on Skillshare. So yes, that is how I do my Instagram posts and that is with all of them. As for other things, let's see. So I'm going to create valuing product listings. So I have to go ahead and create, I did subtask on this one. I have to create sticker sheet one, sticker sheet two, individual sticker sheets. Currently, I don't know how many. Um, and individual stickers, uh, jack o lantern and berets, uh, plushy one, plushy two, plushy three, plushy four, and heart jack o lantern earrings, right? So there's my entire list of what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to be designing and packaging labels. So here's another list. So you guys can have more an idea and I can just check them off right here when I'm done. And I'm also going to be doing, um, Halloween little ghosts like plushy ghosts there we go so in my description here i have a couple ideas right so i could put my ideas in here in the description which is perfect because i could just go in here and be like oh right i was going to do that and then remember that i was going to do that so that is perfect there and i went down all the way to the 31st i even put i said I'm filing my taxes my Patreon stuff in here, what I need to do, backing cards, you know, and even planning my February calendar. So as you can see, my breakdown is quite big and you could easily just move these over. Let's say I don't get time to record my taking down um, spooky Christmas decorations. I can always move it over here. I can always move this back. Um, you can always delete stuff so I can delete stuff here. If you want to duplicate a task, for example, showering is something I'm going to do on a regular, right? So you could go ahead and duplicate that task right here. And then you could go ahead and change the name, just delete the duplicate duplicate of, and then you'll create the task and it'll duplicate it right here and you'll slide it over wherever you need to slide it. So as you can see, Asana is very beneficial. I definitely recommend it for any artist or small business owner. It is free up to an extent. I like the calendar feature of it. And like I said, I really like the app version of it too. Um, I tested it out yesterday to see if that same glitch was happening of where it wouldn't load. It was not, so it was actually loading. It let me view all of my information this time because what would happen is I would have a list like this big and it wouldn't want to show me the entire list, but it actually did and it let me go into every single thing. So that was awesome. I, like I said, definitely recommend it. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I'm sorry if it was a two-part video, but I wanted to make sure that I went in depth and you guys could see how long the planning process could take. And, um just pretty much see overall how I use color coordination and category coordination here to be able to just keep myself pretty much on check. As you can see, I've been doing it for the past three days and it has been working for me. I've been getting stuff done, things I didn't get done um, yesterday or the day before got it put into this pile, but I plan to finish them today.
so yeah i hope this helped don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe i'm trying to post every friday on this channel now and it's going to be a lot of um just businessy type stuff or helpful things even artist alley or just vlogs i'm going to try to do like a monthly vlog of what i've been doing and i hope this helps once again i will see y'all in my next video and yeah bye everyone